hello. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for, at the uh, Roche Parthenay farm. Farm Barbers. Okay, and what we've got to do at Farm Barbers is we've got to do our own haircuts. Why is yeah. that? Because uh, we're in lockdown and you can't go to the barber shop. So what we've got here is, is the La Roche Parthenay barber shop. And what you'll, what you'll see is my hair's gone a bit wild, look. So what I've done is I've got out my barbering kit. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really quite, it's professional. Real, 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 real stuff. And you've got these different, uh, you have these different uh, guards. And the guards, what the guards do is they, they make it easier for you to cut your hair. So when you turn it on, you hear that, you can do a cut. Now what I'm going to demonstrate is how to cut your hair. Now the first thing you do is you start with the biggest one, yeah, and you go through your hair, you just take it up and over, yeah, and you go round, round the hair, and you just take it off like that. Do the back, sides. Is this, is this so, why you're good at doing the sheep? Yeah, yeah, well I learned to do my hair when I was doing the sheep, and I was told at the uh, sheep shearing that I had perfect hair. So, so you just go through it like that, and it and it just just cuts it off like that. Now, I've started with a long one because then you can start with that, and you, you can't make much much of the way of a mistake with that, can you? you know what I mean, it's long. What you'll be pleased to know is that Gilo barking okay. at the. It's probably the silver flecks of my hair. <laughs> now, the downside is. I can't see what I'm doing because I've taken my glasses off. But I'm pretty sure it's okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's going to come out really Why good. Why you taking your glasses off? Because I don't, I don't think I look good with glasses on. I'm too young for glasses. So once I've cut my hair, I'm going to dye it. That's good. Looks yeah. nice. I'm going to dye it blonde. It's looking good. How's it looking so far, guys? Very good. Do it this way. There's no real pattern to the way I do it. You just cut the hair, really. You go up the sides like this. Like. <laughs> Get it all off. No skill involved at all. Well, the skill is is you don't you don't want to look like you just come out of a a fight with a lawnmower. So not short. We're at the we're at the we're at the not short side it says at the moment. So the idea is you take the sides off like that. I learned obviously how to cut my hair when I was in the army. Were you in the army? I was. Well, a lot of people know that, do they? Well, actually, I tell everybody I've ever <laughs> met. But yeah, you're right. Not a lot of people know that. <laughs> I was born in the army as well. Not a lot of people know that either. I was born in a regiment, the same regiment I served in. Okay, so what I want is that flat top to come in. So we'll just go through the, through the middle there, like that. Get rid of this. I'm covered in fluff. Or hair. Who are you? Yeah, it's snowing, isn't it? Look it is this. snowing, look at that. Of course, you don't have to waste the hair. You can use it as, a, as an insulation for your garden because it, it works great. I tell you what it reminds me of is you know when dandelions go over to that sort of white fluffy ball bit. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's what it looks like. You're calling me a dandelion <laughs> just because I'm a Leah. Now, obviously, the tricky thing is having eyes in the back of your head because you, you obviously can't see the back of your head. But if you start one side and keep yourself going all the way around, you should be able to do it without necessarily missing a bit. <laughs> or, <laughs> or you get somebody else to come and have a look. <laughs> but if you're on your own, like I sometimes am when I'm doing this, because we're a busy farm and, and sometimes my, my wife, Julia, who's behind the camera at the moment, who thinks I always have a short back and sides too much, it's too busy to help me cut my hair because she might be away at the time. So here we are. 
I think the sheep must be looking on in, oh. in fear. In fear, in horror. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's your turn next week. Okay, so. So far no damage. Everything looks okay. It's probably not uh, it's probably not smooth yet. Okay, I'm gonna ask a camera person, what's it look like at the moment? Oh, what can I say? It's just fabulous. Oh, it's looking sort of alright. <laughs> sort of alright. Yeah. That is that is a glowing, a glowing report that is sort of alright. Okay, so we've gone round on the on, on on the second size down now. She's holding her chin out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely does. Keeps me still. Mm. You know, like when you go to barbers, they go, stay still, sir. You can see why Is now. It? Are you going to ask yourself if you need anything for the weekend? Oh, absolutely. Packet of three, <laughs> please, sir. Okay. Now, I think the top is nearly... Yeah, you're nearly not too perfect. Bad. You've got a bit of a ponytail going on, but it's not too bad. Ponytail, just at the back. Yeah, well, you are sort of nowish, but you yeah, yeah. come more towards the centre of your head. Oh, sorry. Okay, now we go this way. Then we go this way. Then we go this way. And now it should be pretty good, actually. Is it okay? Not too bad. You're a bit long at the back. But yeah. Well, the really back, the back. I'm going to sort out in a second. And the sides, I'm going to sort out in a second. But I think, I think we're nearly there with the top. You know, it's not a real barbers. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to concentrate on the sides and the back. And for that, what we're going to need to do, okay? So I'm going down to a size. I think I'm going down to size two or three. I can't see where that glass is. <laughs> it so what we do is again, it's the same thing. Just go along the sides, start from the top down. And if you run down like this, you can see it just feathers it in nicely. Look, see that? And then if I come up like this, you can't really see because you're. See if I come up like this. Shade. You can see it just takes it off nicely without going too too wild. And I can do the side over the ear and to the side lap. So I get this sides going round. Now we're going to take this length out of the back and the sides. Importantly get the length out of the back and the sides. Okay, so down the back. You should be able to see. I can't see because I'm just guessing. But you should be able to see. <laughs> you should be able to see. We're clearing up nicely down the back now. Right, next thing is we're going to... your ears. Yeah, yeah, I've got big ears, haven't I? <laughs> it's a family trait from my mother's side. The churches, we won't talk about them. Yes, we will. They're nice people. Especially if they watch the video. Right, so I've gone a lot, lot thinner now, and you can see it's, it's clearing up the ears nicely, yeah? Now I'm going to take it down the back. Take it around the side, so it goes around the side. Holding your head still again. Well, it's, it's, it's very important at this stage because the last thing I want to do is lose my ear. Your ears are big enough, you're not going to lose them. I normally <laughs> take a cutthroat to my neck now, but and I've got to say, all modesty aside in that. He is a Leo, so he's quite vain, I'm afraid. I'm not vain. Just like to look good. And there's no point in waiting if you can't if you can't get it done properly, you might as well do it yourself. Well like I say to a lot of people, stop moaning about what you can't do with what you haven't got. Yeah. You know, and get on with what you can do with what you have got. And I've got one of these, so And you've got skills. Allegedly, I've got skills. Now, Not always the right ones though, are they? Well I've got I've got loads of skills, but not necessarily the ones you need for the job. Look at all this stuff! I know. <laughs> oh, is there more? Yeah, I've got to tidy up. Because if you look here, 
I'm not sure here. we can see. See? See these long bits here? Oh, yeah. Okay. And there's a few long bits there. See them? Look. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go delicate. See that? Delicate. I'm trying to get the hairs out your ears. Yeah. I'll do that in a minute. <laughs> the next bit is the eyebrows, okay? Now, get your comb, pick them up. Oh, hang on, we've got to come in for a closey here. Okay, and then you just go. Oh, we can't see because you're shading it. Okay. <laughs> what was that? That was Gilo. That's our Gilo. Oh, look at you go. Oh, this is an education. Do you know what? I don't think I've ever seen you trim your eyebrows before. See, it's a learning day. Every day is a learning day. Get rid of those big ones at the side. Don't need that. What? Oh, look at this grooming. He's doing his facial exercises as well. Excellent. Now... Now we're just going to tidy up the bottom. Now hopefully that's a straight line. <laughs> What's it look like? Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, sides okay, front okay? Yeah. All I can say is, I took about I don't know, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and I got a haircut. Look, and it cost me, well. <laughs> right, if you liked what you've seen, right, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Like, you know, I don't know everything. I might be got it wrong. And maybe you can tell me how I've got skills, but uh, not necessarily the right ones in the right order. You see, here at La Roche Partenay Farm, home styling barber shop, it turns you into a good looking, cool dude. Really? <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs>